Alrighty, we've got episode freaking 10 for um, Love Plus. Last episode, um, saw you right into the Phantom Dude. So there are no secrets between us yeah, yeah right there are always secrets to something bro doesn't matter how close you think you are <laughs> yo Gonna go on a trip. Why is she staring at it like that? Has she like been there before but just doesn't remember? Cause she was already just staring at that picture like mad. Bro. It's like she was gonna have a flashback for a minute right there. She probably knows that place. Or probably has been there before but just can't remember it. Bro, why is everyone staring at her? Oh, the guy that, oh, he left the rose on her desk. Love from the Phantom. <laughs> This poor girl is so and so excited. She doesn't even know what this guy is. God dang. Yo, everyone's just gossiping. Yeah, this this blonde chick, she's definitely gonna be mad jealous. Yo. I feel so sorry for these poor innocent souls, bro. They don't even know what's going on. They think this phantom is this mighty short shining armor and all that, but they, they don't even know. <laughs> oh my god. So she's gonna do okay, she's gonna go there for sure. Yo, I was wondering when this man Haji was gonna show up because I'm like, yo, Sai is outside by herself now. It's like, where is this man Haji? It's like, we all know this man already be lurking somewhere close. I mean, I knew he was at the school, but since Sai was outside, I was like, damn. 
why hasn't he shown up yet? Purple, or is it because of the the night makes make they look purple? <laughs> oh, so they, there are some purple rose, roses there for sure. Hold up, where is Saya's sword? Oh, Haji probably has it in his in his thing. The fact that Haji just jumped all the way down and Saya is just taking the ladder, it's like, yo, why didn't Saya just jump? I've noticed something, it's like, when, when Saya's eyes are not red and all that, it's like, she, she, she does things, um, like, humanly, mostly humanly. It's like when Haji had to pick her up and like jump all the way over there. It's like Saya can jump as far as Haji, but it's like when her eyes are not red, it's like she's basically like using her powers and all that. She she does everything like humanly. It's like why didn't she just jump all the way down just like Haji did? Smarter, yeah, he, he's there smarter than the other one. He he's way more in control of himself. This guy is way more in control of himself. Damn, I don't know why, bro. My eyes be burning as shit. I think it's because of this ring light. It's so fucking bright. It needs to turn this shit down after this. Hold up. If I remember cor correctly. Oh yeah, I think they did escape by the end of the episode. By episode 9, Kai and Riku. You're, you're calling your boyfriend. <laughs> oh my god. This is, oh my. Men is just, oh my god. Someone give men a boyfriend, please. Oh, they're trying to go to the place that Sai is? Where are they trying to go? They see it's the only place. Oh, did you? Okay. It's not the same place as Sai. I, I don't think it is. Damn. 
this reporter guy is getting some mad screen time. Not gonna lie, he, he uh, yeah, he's definitely gonna be some important character later on in the series. But since lately, this guy has been getting a lot of screen time, bro. <laughs> yeah, things are just not going smooth smoothly for this man, bro. Dang, is that an AK forty seven? I think it is. She has a flashbacks. Damn, like seeing these things are triggering memories. Damn, she did. She's remembering those photos are triggering our memories. Damn, yo, she, yo, she, she about to freak out. Yo, those photos trigger some bad memories. Hold up, didn't she kind of remember some of these things already? But I guess seeing that photo is like opening up more of her memories. Damn, I actually feel bad for her. Damn, that, yo, you cannot tell that was mad traumatic for her. Damn. Bro, this, <laughs> she ran into this guy. This is definitely fate, bro. Yeah, this guy definitely gonna be somewhat more important as the series goes on. He be getting that screen time. Damn, she losing it. Hold up, who the hell just called her? That's not Haji. Ain't no way, bro. Ain't no way, bro. It's the damn fandom, nigga. Yo, this is the wrong time. It's like... 
Saya going through it right now. It's the wrong time for this guy to show up. Damn, this is not that time, bro. She just had some... She just had to relive some traumatic memories, bro. This is not the time. Saya is not having the best of day today. He's having traumatic flashbacks and then running into this guy. Oh. That's tough. Ooh, Haji coming in with the clutch. Yes, sir. Yo, it's so freaking convenient that Haji, Haji is always so close to her, bro. <laughs> But I'm glad it, that it is established from like early on in the series. It's like, so you like always have an idea like, yeah, Haji is always close by. So whenever he shows up out of nowhere, it's always justified because it's like, we, we know he's always near her. He's never too far away. It's like anywhere Saya is like, he's basically following her. So whenever he's like, he like pops out of, the, out of nowhere, it's like, yeah, it's justified. It's like, he's basically always following her. But man, this man Haji getting the, getting the works, bro. This man putting the, the hands on Haji. Now nah, Haji got to fight back, not in front of Saya. Haji needs to fight back. Damn, so this dude has seen Saya before. Yo, this is even worse, bro. She's having those traumatic, really the, see those traumatic freaking memories. And now this guy, he knows her. He, he was there that time when Saya was massacring everyone. He was there. Damn. Yeah, he probably was definitely there. Her eyes go red. Haji needs to get up, bro. Sai needs to get this man away from her. Damn, she, she's... Yo, she's so scared right now. It's like... You're so sorry. Uh, the memories coming, the, the, the good memories com coming in clutch. Them good memories coming in clutch. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. W memories, bro. Good memories, the good ones. I will accept my pass. Yes, sir. Yeah, cause she, hey, she like running away from her past won't make what she did go away. So it's like W Saya, bro, for saying she'll accept her pass. It's like for real. It's like that's yes, sir. Like Saya, this right here is Saya getting some development, but she's finally like saying she's gonna like accept her past now. She she's slowly regaining her memories. You're like that. I can't enjoy killing me if you're like that. <laughs> oh my god. You're the dangerous. Are we going for tonight? So why take your mask off and reveal who you are, bro? <laughs> This man, that means he's definitely not going back to the school. 
Well, he can go back because Saya's cover will be blown if she tried to attack him at the school at daytime or anything. So he can still go back to the school because Saya and Haji definitely would want to like cause a commotion at the school. So they, they, they would leave him alone at daytime. But at nighttime, yeah, they're definitely going to try to cook his ass. But man, this was, this was, yo, Saya went through it this episode, not gonna lie. Saya went through it, bro. She saw them vape man pictures, bro, and all that. Her memories came running back, those traumatic memories, bro. But W. Saya, bro, those good memories with Kai and the dad and Riku came in clutch, bro. And she's finally said it, bro. She's gonna accept her past. She's like, don't run away from it. So W Saya, she she's getting a little bit of development. They get me, bro. That's character development right there. But yeah, pretty good episode. Uh, yeah, that's it for this episode. Like, comment, subscribe, I greatly appreciate it. Like the video, bro. I would greatly appreciate it. And I catch y'all boys in the next one.